today. By the way, he's the decoy, the real president. Wow, what? He's right there. Okay, do not go too fast. Mitch won't be able to keep up with you. Here's the lead pack. We're a mile ahead. Six, six minutes in. We're killing it. You see that block pass back there? Making these kids look bad. Got one. <laughs> For a few more seconds. Oh, he's looking the best he he's has. Come on, he's push, push, the best push. He has sprint, sprint Jump. to the oh, bridge. Did you win? I, I just smoked everybody. Do we know how far it is? Just over a mile. One point two miles. It is 1.2? Yeah. It's perfect distance. I want to have so many on here that people are like, hang on a second, what happened? <laughs> how did you get so many gold stars? What's the gold star situation? This week we've got some highly, highly coveted gold stars, and what these are equal to. Well, basically it's a dollar each because at the end of the week they're going to exchange their gold stars for raffle tickets. We're giving away a free summer camp next year, which is $1,000. Uh, free classes we're going to give away. I've got boots, fox boots, couple pairs. i got a brand new fox helmet. So these gold stars, they're highly coveted. We're going to give a few out. Make sure you get that on the helmet. Nicely done. Little man, I'm not messing around. Oh, jeez. Oh man. We're, do you have any gold stars on the helmet yet? Not yet. Not yet? Not yet. Oh. A bunch of gold stars. Oh, you got there. Thanks, AJ. Yesterday it rained. Today we've got Florida Ryan here, Dr. Irresistible himself. So that hey means that we're going to get some fantastic footage. The vibe <laughs> is going to be high. Summer camp day three. I'm feeling good. Guys, guess what day it is? Wednesday. Wednesday. Do you know what that means for summer camp? No. Jump day. Ooh. Jump day. 100 foot table, our Vince is gonna show everyone how to do it. What else? Jumping two tables in one, probably. We got Spencer Wilton here, he's gonna be the woods guy for the day. He's also gonna be working jumps. So we got everybody doing jumps. Jackson, what are we doing right now? Uh, day three. Day three. It's already hotter than day two. And one. It's hot. It's hot, but you know what? We're gonna power through. Uh, we're up at, uh, this is this is base of operations. Base of operations. Jamie! What's up everybody? How's it going? <laughs> you look like you've been out all day and it's only like 9 a.m. I don't <laughs> stop. I go from the time I get here till I shower at 8 o'clock and go to bed at 8.02. Okay. What is, so it looks like you've been uh, helping poor lost souls with their bikes? or? Uh, yeah, we straighten out some. We also have William here helping us from the app. He's coming out as my assistant mechanic and we've done some front ends. We've done some handlebars, clutches. A lot of tires, and now we're just finishing up our Stark. We, uh, the boys popped a tire on it, so the problem is we don't have another tube. So I'm trying to find one more tube to put in there, and hopefully by that time, I'm going to go hide in the air conditioning because <laughs> it is brutally hot out here. Hydrate. Even if it's with the crappy stuff, it's better than just regular water. Make sure you're mixing in electrolyte powder. We use the Element. Moto Academy does. All right, guys, before we get back to this video, I want to take a second to talk about Element. I fumbled with hydration the first four or five years of my professional career, and I didn't know why I was getting such bad cramps. I didn't know why I was getting such bad headaches, and ultimately it turned out because I just was drinking water, and man, I would cramp and get Charlie horses so bad, and uh, man, I didn't sleep well, and I got headaches really bad, and now that I've found, I've gone through a couple of different ones, and I found the one I love now, and it's Element. All of their flavors taste amazing. There's no sugar. There's no artificial flavors. It's got the sodium, potassium, magnesium, all of the electrolytes that you need to stay properly hydrated and retain the water that you're drinking. Mix in a half pack or a pack if you're feeling really depleted of Element, and I'm telling you, you guys will be just as... I. Not that I'm addicted to it, but I'm drinking it every single day. Whether I'm working out or not, I drink it first thing when I wake up in the morning. I'll drink a full 16 ounce or 18 ounce bottle of this with Element mixed in. Drink it before I go to bed. I drink it when I'm on plane so I don't get dehydrated when I'm flying. Uh, and I especially drink it when I'm working out or at the dirt bike track. Go to drinklmnt.com slash AJCat330. You can try eight flavors for free with your order. They support our channel. They support the podcast. They support everything, the Moto Academy. Uh, so go support Element, drinklmnt.com slash AJCat330. Back to the video. If you guys saw me yesterday, I had that just salt sweat all over me. That means your body is 
sweating out all that sodium, that salt. So you got to get it back in your body. Super important. Has anybody been cramping at all this week or have we been avoiding the cramps so far? Have you had a couple cramps? All right, so I do think it might make more sense for us to start on that step up. It's groomed pretty darn nice. We can get comfortable. We can practice a little seat bounce action. If you catch any air on that first roller, you're gonna kill your momentum and your speed for that next setup. So good opportunity for some of you to maybe practice scrubbing, but nonetheless, we have to get slowed down enough. The, the main goal is to absorb and keep the wheels on the ground. That's objective number one, keep the wheels on the ground. Then as soon as you crest the top and get down to the backside, sit. Every person here should be sitting. If we stand, Two negatives to that. One, it's a heck of a lot more energy because you're going up that hill. Two, you just don't have that weight down into that back tire to make sure that you're getting that traction. So sit into the seat and stay in the seat. All right, guys, check this out. Let's see if he gets at 121 here. He's finding a kicker on the way up this roller that he's jumping off of. Oh, yeah. Jet Lawrence style, just timing the kicker to jump over the roller. I like it. I like it. All right, so let's see. We're going to do a little soak up here, the 510 on the... Nice. Very good. Stands up. Times to sit down. All right, Ryan. So let's see. We've done the jump over the kicker. Now let's see if we can really... AJ here reporting for CJ. He started this week in the kids group and we had to upgrade him to the expert. He group. was in the kids group? Yeah. Oh my he goodness. He was making him look too bad. So we had to move him up to the expert big bike group. Not just the big bike group, the expert big bike group. And basically he's just been showing everybody how it's done. So now he's won some gold stars, Ryan, which if you've learned anything today in this video, we've Good. learned that the gold stars are highly coveted. Yes. Yes. And so we're going to dish some of those out. Wait, can we? Can Coach Mitchell get oh. his thoughts? He followed him through these jumps over here. He killed it. He deserves a gold star for style. Yeah. Dude yeah. was yeah. throwing some nice In my scrubs. section, uh, well, Ryan got it on film, I think. There yeah. was a roller, and there was the tiniest kicker. You couldn't even, I didn't, I didn't see it. And he was bunny hopping off the kicker over the roller and then driving down the no back way. side of the roller. Yeah. I was impressed. I did it every single lap. I put a full shot right. of gold stars. Oh, we are. Downpouring, get in here. I got to get your gold stars. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 100, over 100 degrees today. Somebody told me 111. I was told it was going to rain, then I was told it's missing us, and then as soon as somebody said it's missing us, absolute monsoon of a downpour. Two days left of summer camp. It's going to be outrageous. We might be mud riding, but hey, I'll take it because we've been riding the sun and the dust the last couple days. And then all of a sudden, these two, we're out there in the back of the truck. <laughs> Nobody... They were out there by themselves. All right, good luck out there. <laughs> probably going fast is probably your best I should. <laughs> as soon as the gate would drop, boom. Feet would end up behind the foot pegs. Grip them tight. That's the only thing that's gonna keep you in position and it's what's gonna keep the bike straight underneath you. So if you guys took off and you felt like you were doing a whole bunch of this, well, first of all, you're in a rut now the second time, so it should get better, but those feet tight are what's gonna keep that bike steady underneath you. All right, we had little man 510 on the, is that an 85 or super mini? And you whole shot of the big bike? Whole shot in big bikes on the super minis. That's what we do here at the Moto Academy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 85 got the big bike. I like it. Whoa, whoa, easy, easy. Calm down, calm down. With the first group, we were working this little like rocky section right here. And there's a bit of a loop that you can do. It's pretty rocky and there's like a lot of loose big rocks that if you hit them, you're not gonna be in too good of a situation. So picking a good line, looking ahead here, trying to find a line that looks like it's not gonna move is the best thing to do. A couple of the riders are jumping off this rock here. It definitely 
it makes the trail more fun, but the more consistent way is to just stay smooth over the roller and just kind of keep the tires on the ground. Oh, you good? We had a rider tuck the front. You all right, buddy? Dude, that was gnarly. So when you're coming through this section, try to just like keep the tires down and keep the throttle steady so that like when you chop the throttle, you just chopped and landed like right on top of that rock and there's no way like, that would have made anybody crash. Anybody would have crashed there. There's like no way to save that. Here we got 121. Good setup, good throttle. Could have had the weight a little bit further back on that one. Yeah, buddy. Here comes 510. Coming inside in the corner. I got the kids all excited because we haven't ridden this track all week long and all they wanted to do is ride this track. I bring them over here and I say, guys, good news, we're riding this track. Everybody gets excited. Bad news is, you're not allowed to sit the entire time that we're over here. So we're gonna be working this section in this track for an hour. And all of the drills, all the sets that we're gonna do are gonna be stand up only. If they sit down, it's 10 push-ups each time. Oh, they're taking breaks already. What happened? Yeah, they're my goggles reset. Gotta reset the goggles? Yeah, they got all my Is that an excuse? Okay, we got superpowers on the Yamaha because he's got the camo hat hanging off the back while he's riding. Coach AJ style, so that does give you superpowers if you didn't know. Spencer, check the form, how's the form? What is that? Here, spin around. Take spin around. There you go. Hey, take that helmet off if you need to. What's happening? Okay, don't even do it yet. Just hold a high plank. We gotta get you situated. Okay, don't move. Okay, don't move, don't move. Hold it there. Hold it there. Hold it there. The whole Hold it there. Don't move. Hold it there. Hold it. Ten seconds. Don't move. Nine. Don't move. Eight. Don't move. Seven. Hold it. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Yeah. Good job. All right. Come up. Learn how to scrub. So when you come up the lip and you want to throw a scrub, basically wide open up the lip and just cross your arms just cross your arms basically basically touch your left elbow to your right knee just turn the bars and just touch your left elbow to right knee just okay. as hard as you can and just turn the bars <laughs> i think he's gonna do it yeah jackson <laughs> he's just not he's not crossing it up hard enough he needs to cross it up harder <laughs> kind of just scrubbing like the enduro guy. <laughs> what the heck is going on? I don't even know. We got Ray, our app member. We got Jackson, our social media guy. I think they're racing or something. Oh, they're coming in hot. Whoa. Oh, Jackson's revving that thing to the moon. He's about to blow the top end off that thing. Oh. A little 80s style whip down the hill. Okay, Ray is definitely faster by far. I need Ray to make a block pass in this corner, put Jackson into the pond. See that big real estate right there? I need to see that. I need to see Jackson just sink face first. Ray got him. They're jumping to the middle of nowhere on that tabletop. Oh, gaps closed up tight. Ray, nice, nice, nice position. Jackson's getting a little squirrely, getting that rear end kicked around. Ray's holding a steady pace. We're looking good. I think they're doing like half a track right now. He's doing wheelies, trying to show off, but that was a terrible wheelie. You gave up, didn't you? I missed the shift. Ray had way too much for you. Did he you just... hear me miss the shift here? Yeah, I saw you land on the rear brake. Or the tire was locked up when you landed. No. That was a little sketch. Dude, another Moto Academy event in the books. Spencer Willen. All right, we did it. And by we did it, I mean he did it. He went up <laughs> over a huge log. And he also got sketchy with it on the track. Didn't clear the hundred foot table, did you? What no, did you? I well, well you got it. I'm gonna claim it, but like the kids in the in the film studies are kind of dogging on me for blowing up the berms. <laughs> what did they like, say? I don't know if they, they want said me here stick next to the year. woods. They, say they stick? said, yeah, get this guy in the motor. Stick. Yeah. Somebody they're yelling, stick to the woods. And yeah, stuff, I man. heard it being yelled from the I back. I also saw something year. got <laughs> something got thrown to the front. They yeah. were trying to hit you with stuff. Yeah. I mean, yeah, rough crowd. Rough crowd here at the Moto Academy. But thank you, sir. That was epic. Didn't go over the bars this time. Didn't go OTV. Kept it on two. Yeah, did, did you keep it on two? 
I mean, for mostly. the most part, yeah, mostly. Okay. <laughs> mostly. Are we alive? Huh? Are we alive? Yes. There's napping. <laughs> Thursday's done. Day four in the books. We got one day left of Moto Academy summer camp, and tomorrow we're gonna do uh, a whole bunch of fun stuff. But I know a lot of people wanted to get over the hundred foot table. It's been rough and bumpy all week, so we specifically requested a groom and I see the brand new dozer out there grooming the 100 foot table for tomorrow. Five. We made it. We're almost there. All right, we got some of the boys here holding it down. Uh, summer camp, thoughts? Thumbs up, thumbs down? What, what do we rate it? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. That doesn't give us much room to grow. What would you, what do you want different next time? What do you want the same next time? Um, more riding. More riding? Yeah. Who, you're the fastest on the bike? What about your dad? Oh, I'm faster than him. Oh, he's, he's way faster than me. How much fuel have they burned through, Dad? 15 gallons in five days. All right. Do you, on his bike alone. Do you wish they were riding more, or are you good with that? He rode yesterday from 10 to 30, and I had to pull him off the pit bike track at 5.30, so there was, he rode a lot. And how was your guys' camp experience? Uh-huh, and what would you change for next year? We are here with Bo. You've been here all week. Uh, say what's up to the people. Hi. Camp, what do you think? Rate it out of 10. Give us a score. Uh, eight. Eight out of 10. I like it. That's a real answer. That's fantastic. All right. What, uh, what was your favorite part from the week? Jumping. Jumping. All right. Do you feel like you made some progress this week with us? Yeah. Awesome. Mom, do we, do we agree? We agree. We agree. What would you want different for next time around? The jump after the 100-foot table. Oh, okay. I, I see. I see. Did you uh, did you get redemption? Have you hit it since then? No. You haven't. You. I haven't cleared it. You haven't cleared it. Yeah. Is that? Uh, oh. Dang. All right. You got some brew. Oh, snap, dude. Uh, do you want to get revenge on that jump today? Not really. No, you're good. All right. Jump wins this round, but uh, but we'll be back. This is Alley Cat. Hi. Hi. I see you coming with us. And that's Millie. Yeah. Millie. This is Millie. Millie's gonna know, officiate the run. Doug? Yeah. Oh, she's gonna officiate. She doesn't behave. Doug's the bug. Wow. I know. Oh. Super exciting. Oh. Friday, Moto Academy Summer Camp, the last day, the last run. That doesn't look like running attire at our events. I'm an athlete. What's this guy doing? We're not at the finish yet. I won. We may have had a clip of Allie coming in first, actually. Allie won? Yeah. She is known for the sneaky hole shots inside the Moto Academy, yeah? <laughs> she had a Starbucks cup in hand and everything. Oh, it was, my gosh. It was pretty crazy. Oh, baby, I just I made it. And Killing Millie? It. Well, yeah. Millie, technically, Millie would have crossed the finish line first. He doesn't have All right, Ryan, so we're... We had an injury yesterday. We thought he broke his femur, and thankfully he did not. So he is back from the hospital. We're going to surprise him with the helmet. I usually save this for the podcast, but shout out Driver Jamie. Shout out Driver Jamie. So this is he's been saving lives all week and saving dirt bikes all week. Now he's saving the Stark. This is a 120 fresh tire. It, have you seen my tire on the Stark right now? It's, we were pretty due for a new one. And this was a 110. So I'm going to be getting some traction this morning. I got you a gift. Dude, what size helmet do you wear, by the way? Because your fox helmet is sweet. Do you wear a kid's helmet? Uh, adult medium. Adult medium? Yeah, I think it's Oh, that's convenient. Do you want another one? So I wore this at one Supercross race this year. Uh, so I left it dirty from that, but I've only worn this once. And guess what? It's an adult medium. So no pressure. You don't have to wear it. You can just keep it or you can wear it because it's pretty sweet. It's like a 100 foot tabletop, maybe a little bit longer. I bet you it's a little longer. CJ's our fastest little bike uh, 85 and super mini camper this week. Probably by a long shot, he's very fast. So I'd say he got, he's got this no problem. Take off, spin, groom, corner's perfect, landing's perfect. This is the day to do it. Oh, that's it. That's it. So he's going a couple inches further right that time and he stays out of that stutter. That, if, if he does exactly that, he'll clear it. Oh yeah, so that last one was fourth, right? Yeah. Perfect, that's for, for the perfect speed to clear it, guaranteed. Just get straight for it and stay a little further right. So where you went the last time was perfect. Where you went the time before that, you kinda, I don't know if you felt it, but you hit the stutter and the bumps in, down bottom. 
Wherever you went that last time, if you committed, you would have cleared it perfectly. Yes, sir, you got it. Ah. He's got, it. that's everything that bike has. He can get it, he can get it clean. But I'm pretty happy with that. How's it running? No bogs or anything weird? Okay. When I hit it on the you were? Okay. All right, so he says he's in fourth. This is the one bike that I'm probably, there we go, nice and smooth, our vent. I'm probably gonna need a test run on this thing. Yeah, that might be hard on this thing. So it's a matter of figuring out where to shift fourth. Too early in a log, too late, and I'm risking doing it like on the takeoff. Yeah, that's that's all she's got, definitely. Um, so the, the key is you gotta rail that corner. You gotta kind of feather the clutch to keep third gear really, really up in the RPM. And then I shifted, this is the scary part, is I shifted fourth on the jump face. Like right at the pocket of the jump face, right? Where did you shift fourth when you did it? Earlier than that? Logging. Yeah, so you're not gonna be able to create the power, I don't think, doing it that way. Um, let me do one run to see if I can carry fourth around. But yeah, I think the ticket is creating all the power in third, letting it rev through the gear. But then the problem is that shift happens last second, right? That was smart to back out. That was smart to back out because that wasn't going to be enough. Yeah, you, you would just need more speed around that corner. So maybe, maybe you just don't have the corner speed yet. So two options. One, either you're just forced to scrub it, or two, you're going to need a 250F. What did AJ all go over with jumping? Did he kind of cover all the steps, or did he kind of just focus on that jump specifically? Seat bouncing? Downside. OK. We're all hitting these two jumps right here, right? Not hitting the second one. Why is that? Okay. Have you hit that before? No. Do you, is that something like you want? Would you want to hit it if the bumps weren't there? All right, guys. We're at another jump. We're working on jumping a tabletop from the inside line. We're working on maybe short shifting a little bit, making sure we're riding that lower gear to get the power, and then quick clicking that upshift real fast on the exit. All right, one, two, one, going for the jump here. It was not bad. He was in a good seated position, but if you noticed, he stood up last second on the face of the jump. That can create that free float movement and the front end to drive high. He needs to keep the pressure into the pegs, either stay sitting the whole time or stand up just earlier. All right, 510 on a Husky 85. He's kind of doing a wheelie in the air upon landing. That was simply because he extended his arms off the face of the jump. When he gets into the air, he needs to bring that chin over the crossbar pad to level out the bike a little bit. All right, not bad. What gear are you in in the middle of the corner? Do you know? Third. See the end of that hay bale? Yeah shift up to third right there okay that's going to give you that power and that speed to get you over it when you seat bounce make sure you're getting that chin over the bar pad as well so the front end can come down more level you're staying here when you get in the air two things second gear short tip to third and then chin farther forward you do it all right let's see it there he is one two one i'm gonna watch him one more time i just gotta make sure he's That was actually great. That transition was awesome. So I haven't even talked to him yet. I think he kind of self-corrected there. First time, do you know what you did wrong the first time? That was a long time ago, but there's one thing that you did in your seat bouncing zone, okay? So you were sitting in the seat, the last three feet of that jump, you stood up. So you self-corrected, which is great, which is awesome. So the second time through I saw, you stayed in the seat all the way to the air, and then you drove that chest forward. It's perfect. The last time I saw you come around, you seat bounce is good again, but then once you got in the air, knee stayed here. So let's try to get that consistency work back into it so we can hit the same every single time. That's the important part. Okay. If we can't hit the same every time, then what's the point, right? So let's try to get really consistent with it. Oh, we got a guy down. That he got a deep muscle bruise right in that inside of his thigh. What happened though? Do you know what happened in that corner? I was in too heavy gear and it stood up. Ah, stood up? Yeah, Did I the front end gas. pop out? I let off the gas and it stood up and then popped. Ooh, ouch. Yeah. yeah. Let's uh, get that gear selection figured out, and then you'll be good. Whoa, 265. This dude could beat me out there. I'm doing Millville this weekend. He's probably going to get a faster lap time than me. Holy crap. That was sick. GMA Summer Camp signing off. We have one more interview. We haven't talked to this uh, distinguished gentleman. Douglas, Brother Douglas. 
Uh, how's your week experience? Photo Academy 2024 summer camp done. It's official. We made the entire week. We survived it barely. I'm, I'm hanging on by a thread. But it was a great success. Thank you to every single person that came. Thank you to the entire team. Shout out driver Jamie. Keep your eyes peeled. We're going to be booking these. We're going to do three summer camps in 2025 for Moto Academy. Week long, you can spend the entire week with us. This is freaking amazing. Uh, thanks, Ryan, for filming. Brother Douglas and myself, we're out of here.